One of the themes that I've been uh, uh, really interested in traveling around Sardinia is how we're really good at not wasting anything. So the, the tuna hamburger was an example of how we took the dregs of the tuna and you made a, wow, just an unbelievable dish. And now uh, this tuna had 11 kilos of botarga. See. Si. So that's 20 wow. pounds, over 20 pounds of eggs. And so half of that botarga, si. we cured and we're gonna, in nine days, we'll have Botarga, botarga yeah. traditional botarga. La, la, la botarga sì. And here, what have you done? Cosa hai fatto qui? Abbiamo semplicemente aperto la botarga e dentro risulta così. Come lo vedi, abbiamo solo tritata insieme a un po' di salicornia, gli ho aggiunto un po' di farina. Facciamo le fritelline. Ok, so sai come fai le fritelle di asparagi. Ok. E invece di fare la pastella e tutto, noi abbiamo già le uova del tonno. Ok, okay that's interesting. So, since they already have the eggs, ok, they only need to add flour here. And they just opened up the egg cases and added some sea asparagus, salicornia, and some flour, and that's it. And now we're going to make fritters. Fritters. Tuna egg fritters. Okay. Eh, Dani, che olio usi quando friggi? Olio di semi di girasole. Sunflower oil, okay? E più o meno la temperatura quanto deve essere? Deve aggiungere i 90, 100 gradi. Hundred, at least 100, sì, 100 degrees, ok? So the tuna is a little bit like a, a pork, no? È un po' come il maiale alla fine, no? Sì. Cioè, there's a strong tradition in Sardinia where you eat every single part of the pork. Tutto, tutto. The feet, uh, the head, everything. And e here, per il don. it's the same thing for tuna. You're, you're, you're absolutely, you're throwing away the, the, the pins. Le, le pinne le, le, le butti sì. via. Eh? Ah, che io sappia, almeno io non me le mangio, ma poi <laughs> magari qualcuno si è inventato anche qualcosa con quello. <coughs> Però Maybe. sì, in linea di massima non buttiamo niente. Ok. So the idea is really no zero waste. That's a beautiful golden color. Anche perché bisogna ringraziarlo il tonno. Yeah. You gotta respect it. You gotta honor the tuna. Bisogna rispettarlo, ringraziarlo. You, you thank it. Eh? Ok. I like that. Mi piace questo concetto di ringraziarlo. È come, è come ringraziare al meglio, se no. Come? Valorizzarlo. Beh, you valorize no? it as best as possible. E visto che noi non buttiamo niente, ricordi l'hamburger che hai mangiato prima? Yeah. C'è rimasto un po' di salsetta. Ok, so, no? since we don't throw anything away, and since from Marco's special sauce there was a little left, what are we going to do? We're going to serve the fritters on the special sauce. Thing of beauty. Cosa vuoi di più? What, do you, what, what else do you need in life? Prendi e mangi. So, in Sardinia, I mean, it's an agro-pastoral, you know, it's a shepherding culture, right? And so, we, we really, families, everybody had a sheep. Every single family had a sheep. And your wealth depended on how many sheep you had. But everybody had a sheep. And the, the harmonious coexistence with that animal which gave you everyday product to make milk and cheese and it gives you wool to keep you warm and um, so health it was healthy and it was also wealth you know si. so it's like health wealth and happiness are much more simple than I think sometimes we think we think you need a lot of money you know but sometimes all you need is just this. Fritters. 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 <laughs> Let's taste it. Is this a... Okay. My, oh, wow. It's really... that yeah, white color.
It's uh, fantastic. Really, really fantastic. Marco! Marco! That special sauce, you have to tell me how to make it. Mi devi dire come si fa la salsa segreta. Un tesinante. Devi mettere tesinante e tesinante. No.